the termination event. Something big may be about to happen on the sun. Now, on our channel, we've been talking about this for five years. We've been warning about the grand solar minimum and the impending magnetic reversal or excursion. And many people, hundreds of solar physicists, have predicted the next solar cycle 25 and its magnitude. And the majority have said it's going to be weak. But according to this article coming out from Dr. Tony Phillips just two days ago, the termination event may be eminently early. Now something big may be about to happen to the sun and it may not be fun. We call it the termination event, says Scott McIntosh, a solar physicist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, or NCAR. And it's very, very close to happening. If you've never heard of the termination event, well, you're not alone. Many researchers have never heard of it either. It's a relatively new idea in solar physics, championed by Macintosh and colleague Bob Lehman of the University of Maryland. According to the two scientists, vast bands of magnetism are drifting across the surface of the sun. When oppositely charged bands collide at the equator, they annihilate or terminate. There's no explosion. This is magnetism, not antimatter. Nevertheless, the termination event is a big deal. It can kickstart the next solar cycle into high gear, according to the team. Now, if the terminator event happens soon, as they expect, the new solar cycle, 25, could have a magnitude that rivals the top Solar cycles since record keeping began, says Macintosh. Now, this is bad news for humanity, well, and the society that we live in because we rely on the grid. And if, in fact, the next solar cycle is the largest ever recorded in history, well, with our waning magnetosphere, well, you better buckle up, kids. Now, this is to say the least controversial, this idea. Most solar physicists believe that solar cycle 25 will be weak, akin to the anemic solar cycle 24, which barely peaked back in 2012 and 13. Orthodox models of the sun's inner magnetic dynamo favor a weak cycle and do not even include the concept of these terminator events. So who are these charlatans? <laughs> Well, what can I say? Laughs Macintosh. They're heretics. The researchers outline their reasoning in a December 2020 paper in the research journal Solar Physics. Looking back over 270 years of sunspot data, they found that terminator events divide one solar cycle from the next, happening approximately every 11 years, emphasis on approximately. The interval between terminators range from 10 to 15 years. And this is key to predicting the solar cycle. Now, the team found that the longer the time between terminators, the weaker the next cycle would be, explains Lehman. Conversely, the shorter the time between terminators, and that's when the blue and the red touch on the graphic you're looking at, the stronger the next cycle would be. So, a great example from the research is Sunspot cycle four began with a terminator in 1786 and ended with a terminator in 1801. An unprecedented 15 years later, the following cycle five was incredibly weak with a peak amplitude of just 82 sunspots. Now, that cycle would become known as the beginning of the Dalton Grand Solar Minimum. Solar cycle 25 is shaping up to be the exact opposite. 
instead of a long interval, it appears to be coming on the heels of a very short one. Only 10 years since the last Terminator event that began Solar Cycle 24, previous solar cycles with such short intervals have been among the strongest in recorded history. It's not a mystery. These ideas may be controversial, but they have a virtue that all scientists can appreciate. They're testable. Now, if the termination event happens soon and Solar Cycle 25 skyrockets, the heretics may be onto something. Well, and it's bad news for life on the planet. Now, what you're looking at is a butterfly diagram. What this depicts is the position of sunspots on the Earth. Uh, on the sun. <laughs> My bad. No, at, time is left to right, and the equatorial position of the sunspots on the sun is up and down. Now, someone recently claimed that Sunspots do not occur below 30 degrees latitude unless we're at solar maximum, but that's just incorrect. Sunspots occur below 30 degrees latitude almost all the time, based on this chart. So I implore you all to research the butterfly diagram of sunspots and understand what it means, because it's the basis of solar physics. But the grid down scenario, that's pretty scary. -o. Now, if solar cycle 25 starts ramping up exponentially because of the Terminator event happens early, according to the team researching the topic, and I'm going to go with these guys because we've seen evidence in just the last six to 10 months that there's been a, a rapid ramping up of events. But... In the last few weeks, the sun has gone quiet again, as we would expect during grand minima. So we sit and wait for the Terminator event to occur early. And if it does, and if solar cycle 25 ramps up, like none of these cycles, look how big this cycle is in 1960. If we see these types of solar flares and CMEs coming off of the sun, well, it's going to be bad news because our magnetosphere is weakening. And this means major perturbations to the grid and the way we live. We could see satellites re-entering. Entire cities burning if we have major flaring events, like the Carrington event. We may be doomed early. We're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And if what Tony Phillips says is coming, and others, well, it's boom time. Be safe. We love you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance if the grid goes down. Shut your circuit breaker off on your house. Can you do that and back up your refrigerator and other devices for a week? This will be some of the planning sessions that we all have to do in order to be ready for the inevitable. The Terminator event. Will it come early? Will Solar Cycle 25 get squarely? Well, Let's hope not. And be safe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Comment below. And be safe. That's boom. To knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more of it.